Hello, hello guys. Hey guys. How pumped are you for our next activity? I'm very pumped. So we're at the Zhao Zhao Hotel, mm -hmm. one of the most famous properties in Argentina, especially in Patagonia. And we've booked afternoon tea for ourselves. We sure have. Yeah. And this is great because after that spectacular sunrise, we had a pretty uneventful morning. Not just work. Working Pure away. Work. So now we are treating ourselves to afternoon tea. We just arrived at the hotel. We're kind of like at the yeah. base of the property. We need to walk up the hill now, but it's Stunning. Yeah, and it's an hour before our appointment, so we'll try to show you as much of the property as we can. But the property is off limits to a certain sections, are anyways, to, yes. for, for non guests. So I'm not sure how much we can show you, but we'll do our best. The Zhao Zhao Hotel is located in the outskirts of Bariloche, a popular destination for skiing and trekking in northern Patagonia. The hotel sits on a hill between the lakes Nahuel Huapi and Moreno, and it's flanked by the peaks of Mount Lopez and Tronador in the background. It's pretty much a slice of paradise. So, let's talk about how we got here. As you already know, we're staying in Los Juncos in Villa Campanario and the options. If you've got a car, you can drive yourself here. If you feel like walking, it's about an hour and 20 minutes. Or you can take the bus, public transport. We picked up this sube card in Bariloche and honestly, it was like the equivalent of 50 cents getting on the bus and riding out here to the hotel. So if you wanna save your legs, <laughs> not arrive at the Zhao Zhao exhausted, you can take the bus. Yeah, now we're just slowly walking up the hill and we're gonna show you the beauty that is this hotel. Interestingly enough, this hotel was designed in the Canadian style with lots of stone and wood. When you walk down the halls and around the living area, it almost feels like you're in a log cabin, albeit a very luxurious and cozy one. Well, here we are, guys. We made it in. It's even more beautiful than we expected, to be honest. We also arrived early. It turns out tea is at 4.30, not 4 p.m. So we have a bit of time here, and they gave us a few different options. We can wait in the lobby area, or we can wander the main hall where they have little shops and also lots of artwork and photography on the walls. Or we could go out on the terrace and enjoy the views and since it's a beautiful day we opted for the latter so here we are enjoying it i'm actually quite hungry we purposely skipped lunch today because we figured afternoon tea buffet style it's gonna be a lot of goodness going to take you into the winter garden for afternoon tea here at the Zhao Zhao. As you can see, afternoon tea is buffet style and that means you have all sorts of scrumptious cakes, tarts, scones, muffins, brownies, chocolates and sandwiches to choose from. It's best to skip lunch and come hungry so that you can enjoy a little bit of everything. Alright guys, we are so ready for food. We are starting with the savouries. We got some sandwiches. This one is cream cheese with salmon, poppy seed mini bagel, and another one with jamón crudo and brie cheese. And I believe I see a little bit of avocado in there. There is avocado. Also a cheese scone, but I'm most excited for salmon. Oh my. 
How's the sandwich? Delightful. And the salmon has a little bit of lime juice on it. Mm -hmm. And this is the perfect amount of zest. Zing. So tasty. This one's gonna be gone soon. So we both got the exact same sandwiches. Yeah. I mean, those ones look the best. There are a few more. There was like a vegetarian one and something else. But I'm gonna try the hamon crudo. Ooh. So I'll lift the hood here for you guys. See the brie? Underneath that is the hamon crudo and then it looks like there's some palta. Sorry, avocado. <laughs> Palta's in Spanish. Someone spent too much time in Peru. Mm. <laughs> How is it? Mm. You overwhelmingly taste the brie. And then the hamon crudo. Oh, so good. I'm gonna be getting more savory. Items. I was just thinking that, like, I want more of the same sandwiches. I love it so far. It's <laughs> delicious. It's delicious. And our teas have arrived. We should show you guys those. They're sure. pretty special. Sure. Tea time. Tea is here. Sam and I went for some very tropical, exotic teas. Mine is called Tai Wen. And if I remember correctly, it's papaya, coconut, passion fruit. It's a green tea. Ooh. It's a very light tea, but it has a nice aroma. Like you can smell it more than you can taste it, which I like. It does smell tropical. <laughs> it really does. It's like being in Southeast Asia. So, time for Indian market. Yes. Let's so pour this that. Is chai, and it has cinnamon, cardamom, cinnamon, ginger. Ooh. Oh. Smell the spices. Does it take you back to India? Yeah, it's just the aromas. It's just want to put your nose by it and breathe in the mm. cardamom. Round two is sweets. Do tell us. So we have, have macaron over here. Ooh. And do you know like what fruit or what flavor? Yeah, it looks like strawberry to me. This is chocolate with nuts. Almonds. Looks like there's almonds. Ooh. A lemon tart with meringue. And then over here is, it's, I think it's a ricotta cake with forest berries. That all looks wonderful. It does. Yeah, let's try that chocolate. Mm, delicious milk chocolate. It's very creamy. I'm getting the crunch of the, the almonds. Oh, it tastes better the more you just let it linger and roll around in your mouth. And the area around Bariloche is known for chocolate, oh so I bet it's good. It's very good. What Let's else? Try the macaron. The petit macaron. The strawberry. Very good. Very sweet. I overheard someone say it's a pear filling. Oh, it could be. Yeah, look in the side. Yeah, it does. It does it's look. very. It's subtle. It actually has a bit of a vanilla taste to me. Ooh. Let's try the cheesecake with berries, raspberries, and blackberries mm. on top. Such a nice light cheesecake. The tartness of the berries goes so well with it. It kind of helps cancel out a bit of the sweetness of some of these other things. Mm. It's a very and the final sugary. one is yes. one of your favorites. Pie de limon with meringue. Lemon pie. Look at that. Look at those. Ooh. Little towers of meringue. Oh. oh my gosh. The meringue is what makes this. Oh, it's so smooth and so fluffy. He's at a loss for I words. I feel like I'm eating a, a sugary cloud. A sugary cloud? Yes. Maybe he hasn't lost his words. <laughs> <laughs> and now the scone. Put some whipped cream on there. A jam made with a local berry, I forget the name. Mm. Looks good. And I got more of the same cream cheese salmon sandwich. Oh, yeah. Then we were offered a second drink. I chose a hot chocolate, which I may have spilled a bit, and Sam went for the cappuccino. The hot chocolate was thick and sweet and just how I like it. And just when we thought tea time was over, they came around with two glasses of bubbly. Cheers! Well guys, that was our first afternoon tea experience, the buffet version at Zhao Zhao. 
that was a lot of fun. We had a great time. We ate some delicious food. I wanted to tell you the price. The total for two people to have afternoon tea was 52 US dollars and you get a lot for that. First of all, it's buffet style so you can eat as much as you want and they had so many different cakes, sandwiches, macarons, scones, I mean you name it. They had it and aside from that you also got two beverages so first we had tea and then i had a hot chocolate sam had some coffee a cappuccino oh and bubbly at the end of it all we got bubbly and we ended up going up for food maybe know, three or four times so i feel like we certainly got our money's worth it was a really cool experience we were looking at the restaurant uh the menus posted like right outside and the prices are fairly reasonable so like some of the mains were like 17 to 20 us dollars and they also have some specials like sometimes they have sushi nights um, I believe the sushi night was like $15 and you get 12 like sushi rolls plus bubbly so things like that So yeah, if you can't come and stay here as a guest you can always come and eat here That's another option and yeah now we're gonna go catch our bus It's coming and we're gonna head back to our accommodations and I have found My other yes. half is here Just basically waddling around Waddling um, waiting for the bus Very full that was a lot of food mm. lots of good drinks yeah, it was just a very pleasant time. Mm -hmm. um, affordable for what you get. Yes. And a little a little slice of luxury out here in yes. Barloche. Maybe one day we'll get to stay here. Ooh, that's it's possible. So it's possible. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 